A rooftop solar system is only as good as the structures that it sits on. Today in the pitch, we're talking rooftop attachments with Mike Wiener, marketing manager at QuickBolt. Hey Mike, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Chris. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me here. So my nearly uh, 10 years covering the solar industry, I feel like the QuickBolt brand and company has has evolved maybe uh, you know just about as much as any company I can think of with uh, your new logo and you have a new website coming out and you've had a bunch of different new products too that we're going to be getting into. But before we did, I guess I wanted you to just catch people up to speed who might not be familiar, you know, about the founding of the company and kind of where, where you're at today. So QuickBolt at this point, we're in our 13th year. And that evolved out of our wood division, Quick Screws, which my dad started in his parents' garage in 1987. Solar was a natural expansion for what we are already doing, working with screws going into wood. What came out of that was Solar Roof Hook. That was the company name when we first came out in 2009, 2010. We first came out with tile hooks and then eventually our patented product, the Quick Bolt, which my dad invented. And that was a huge shift from the traditional mounting methods at the time. Everything was uh, traditional flashing, big sheet metal things going up under the shingle with the, with the pry bars. And uh, we, are, we didn't know any better. We were, we were new guys. So we were asking people, why are you doing this? What, what's, the, what's the appeal? And now, uh, almost every installer we talked to said, I don't know, this is, this is how it's done. I sort of had an advantage being uh, new to the industry, but not new to what the industry kind of relies on in terms of mounting, and, and that's putting screws into wood on the roof. So it's been a long, you know, effort along the way to help shift the perspective of the industry away from, uh, you know, traditional flashing methods and to what we call top mounting uh, over the shingle. So your newest line is the butyl bottom deck mounting kit, um, which has a couple different trends that I'm seeing out there, the, the butyl and the, the deck mounting. Um, let's, let's start with that butyl bottom. What do we need to know about uh, the butyl rubber as a uh, part of a mounting system? So here, here it is right here, got it in person. And uh, we ship them like this, they come with a little paper on the bottom. Uh, butyl is a great chemical composition for you know sealing and mounting methods for rooftops. This way people don't have to use a caulking or you know, an external ceiling method. They, they, it's all included on the deck mount. And the whole point of the deck mount is to simplify the install process. You know, you don't have to spend any time finding a rafter and it's pretty simple to follow. It's a very straightforward install. So this is not your first deck mount? So this, this is our second generation deck mount. We have a silicone based deck mount that we came out with, um, I think uh, two years at this point. Uh, the idea was to offer a, not necessarily an alternative, but a supplement to the quick bolt and the rafter mounting processes. Sometimes out of necessity, installers can't install into a rafter. Typically that's at the edge of a roof where they've run out of, you know, the eave, on the eave perhaps, or they're in a position in the roof that they're just in between rafters. Uh, or they're on an old roof and the, the rafter is misbehaving, it's going all over the place. So out of necessity, installers need something in those situations. And that's why we came out with the first deck mount with the silicone base. And that product still sells. That's what we're here to do. We're here to offer choices to installers and we'll provide them those choices and leave it up to them. You touched on a little bit, but the, you know, historically deck mounting uh, wasn't really done in the industry. And now there are products that are available to, you know, work that into uh, an installation and not always go have to search for rafters. I guess how prevalent is that now? Or are some installers just only doing like deck mounting? Is it always a mix? Uh, I guess what's the just attitude or just general feedback you're getting? We've definitely noticed a shift. And uh, we like to think that that is because of the overall trend and market exception of top mounting. Typically our customers, you know, maybe two years ago, we would only see a combination, like I said, as a supplement. I'm doing rafter mounting. I just need something to fill in the gaps. And since then, the 
the attitudes have continued to shift. We we have customers now that are just deck mounting, all deck mounting all the time. Uh, typically, install methods are limited by the restrictions in place for permitting. So, what are areas like Florida have a Miami Dade, you know, requirement that limits the sort of installation processes or at least the they require testing and certification so for our butyl bottom at this point we are we're in the middle of the process we'll have it uh, you know by the end of summer to put this product through miami date approval so it's those sort of things where the technology has improved and lined up with an acceptance in the kind of the national perspective so all those things coming together i think has allowed for this um, environment where we're seeing deck mounting become a lot more popular and that that's great for installers because the startup costs to training on this sort of product uh, have to be so much lower than a rafter based product or a product where you're using traditional flashing which is much more labor intensive and you have to be a lot more careful on the roof the this sort of thing where you just you have to chalk a line but once you've done once you've done that you just place it and Putting your screws. Could you compare it to the QB2? Uh, it's one of your uh, Raptor products. Just curious the differences in uh, speed to install and just other nuances to compare and contrast, you know, why an installer might gravitate towards one versus the other. So the speed of installation is comparable between the two. Uh, the, qu the quick bolt, uh, the QB2, that's our newest one, the quickest one, that's a, about a 15 second install, uh, you know, once you've located your Raptors. And it's about the same with the deck mount. What the trade-off comes in the other areas of work or the other parts of the job. So, with a rafter mount, uh, you you have you might have to install fewer because you're getting a little bit stronger connection to the roof, but you have to find the rafter, and that's you know that is one of the limiting factors for all installers. And with the deck mount, you don't have to spend any time finding the rafter but you might have to put down more deck mounts to kind of make up the uh, connection strength that's required for your array. There's a, another product line that I feel QuickBolt has uh, pioneered, or at least that you're the only one that I've seen really promote it, is an, a, an attachment for stone-coated steel roofs. And I admit I'd never even heard of this roof type uh, prior to your uh, promoting this product line. Uh, what, uh, what what should I know about this niche of uh, rooftop? This roof has followed a similar trend for us with uh, you know top mounting in, in terms of we've really helped push and grow this market. And part of that is by working with the roof manufacturers themselves. So we work with uh, Westlake, Royal Roofing, they used to be uh, Boral, Boral uh, and then Decra. So those are two the two largest manufacturers in the United States. And then we've worked with uh, some of their other partners, uh, Tilcor and uh, Calpac. I don't think, I think they got bought up, but Calpac or Gerard, Isaiah Roofing. So we've worked with almost every manufacturer, making sure that the, the solar mounts we make are designed to work with their roofs. And it's a great roof. It's, a, it's like 50 year roof at least, and it's steel. So it's extremely durable. And what makes it great is it's, you can think of it like a metal tile. And so they overlap. And part of what we've done with our tile line is try to come out with products that don't have to be drilled through the roof material. So we followed the same exact thought process with stone coated steel, where you don't want to put a big hole in your roof, but if you can go between the roof panels, then that makes sense. So our uh, we and we still use this design currently. It this is what the hooks look like, and uh, this is what we call the batten bridge. So most stone coated steel roofs are installed with battens on the roof. It's like a wood uh, furring strip uh, so that they can kind of overlap or rest in an organized level way. There's a bunch of reasons people use battens. Uh, but the, the point is we had to come up with this kind of funky design to come up over the batten, over the overlap of the panel and then back out for, for it to work in a way that doesn't damage the roofing material on top because you have such an awesome, strong steel roof. Why would you want to put screws through that or cut a hole through that so you could put like a rubber cap or a flashing cone on top of that? It didn't make any sense. So, you know, we worked with manufacturers to really come up with this. And we have, this is our adjustable hook, but we have fixed hooks as well. Metal roofs have 
they go well with solar in a couple different ways because they're like their lifetimes are aligned you know there's no they're not an oil-based product you know so they're uh, uh more kind of environmentally friendly in that certain way um in an environmentally conscious way these roofs are great and one of the things they do with the way they're designed is they they allow um, a bit of insulation with the air gap. They allow insulation and heat retention on the roof so that it actually keeps the house cooler because of they're thin, but they're, they're metal and then the stone coating on top will help uh, reflect the heat away. But it'll let the air flow under the roof as well. Yeah, I see how the product's different, but like, what are the, are there different challenges uh, on the roof itself or working on the roof? Like, I guess why else might a installer uh, have a learning curve? about approaching that segment. The challenges to overcome with a stone coated steel roof, in our experience, are counterintuitive. Customers are, they don't know how to walk on the roof or they're, they're afraid they're gonna dent it or crumple it if they don't walk on it correctly. And uh, it's it's a pain to to work with, to to install on or to, you know, to open up. And that, that that's sort of the, the mysteries that people talk about or that they're not interested in uh, approaching or, or learning about or overcoming those obstacles and to us that's a little counterintuitive because the roofs are they're essentially tiles so if you're someone who's familiar with walking on a tile whether it's concrete uh, or you know flat or curved and especially clay if you're someone who's skilled at walking on clay tile you know that everyone talks about you look at them wrong and they break uh, then you'll have no problem walking on a stone coated steel roof it, the method is simple you just walk on the overlap like you would uh, any other tile whether it's concrete or clay even if you have a clumsy installer who isn't paying attention, they're just there to put mounts down, uh, walking on the middle of a panel, then you, you're not going to do damage to these roofs that can't be undone. Overall, less risky, or not risky, but like less um, scary than a tile roof in terms of potential yeah. like things breaking or things you could accidentally less wrong, far right? less prone to damage. So, Mike, we covered a, a, a lot of ground because, as we said, Quick Bolt has a, a well, I guess, or a lot of roofs. We've covered a lot of roofs because uh, you have a lot of roofs to cover. For anyone interested in uh, learning more about the Quick Bolt product line or starting to get up to speed and adding it to their repertoire, you know, where where should uh, interested installers go? The the probably the best place is go to our website, uh, QuickBolt.com. We have loads of resources there. We have infographics. We have uh, all the technical stuff like uh, specs and testing reports and certifications. And then we have every, almost every single product on our website has an install video. Whether you want to buy the product or not, you can go to our website just to learn more about it. And then you can buy directly from us, but we have a very strong national distribution network. So you could go to our website, learn about the product, then go to your local preferred distributor and buy it from them. Uh, we have partnerships with distributors across the country who are stocking our products and you can go pick it up. Uh, if they don't have it in stock, you can work with their salesmen and our salesmen. Uh, we have six territories. Uh, our salesmen are always willing to go out to job sites to make sure the products are being installed correctly. Uh, we offer samples, we offer demos. So yeah, there's a lot of different things we do to make sure people are educated about not just our products, but about trends in the industry, like these things, having these discussions and, and videos or webinars. And we know that that website will be new and improved pretty soon so uh be everyone be on the lookout for that yeah. well hey mike you know thanks for taking the time to stop by and make the pitch today appreciate it thanks chris